Hi, I'm Brad Parker with Monero Marine, back again uh, after a short break. We were working hard on the boat. As you can see, we're, we're nearing the end here. We're just cleaning it up. We've got it on the trailer, ready to go. Uh, let's just do a quick review of what we've done. So we started with a 27-foot boat, which started, ended about here. And so we've added this length to the hull. We've added this whole section here on the deck to this point. So everything forward was existing. Uh, the hard top and shield, that was all existing. We've also installed a new motor. It's a Volvo diesel D6370. You can see the leg here. The LeBron's fuel props. Put new trim tabs on. Uh, this here is a custom storage box for his gas tank. So it straps in there. You'll have a kicker motor, a Yamaha 9.9 .9 that's going to be mounted here. Uh, he's sticking the boat away to have something custom made for him. So the guys are just inside doing the finishing cleaning and uh, the owner will be taking the boat away to do some trials. So we'll take a look inside and show you what we've done in there. Hi, we're, we're now inside the boat to see uh, the finished product in here. Uh, we're just, just doing our final cleanup. Otherwise, it's just about done. We've got the, the bench seat here. It actually, it, uh, it fits both ways. You can uh, remove this and flip it around to, to sit the other way as well. Uh, we still got to put the helm seats in. They're ready to go. So this bench seat is in the exact same spot as it was before, but it is just one and a half inches higher. That is because we've got the uh, floor down here we we've raised one and a half inches. This is to prevent water from landing in the cockpit floor and going forward into the boat. So it's a bit of a tripping hazard, but that's, that's what the owner wanted. So we made this floor for him. And if you look back here, this is this, this is what we're gaining in space. So from this step to the engine hatch is the extra cockpit space we're adding. We're re reusing the old hatch so it, it fits the same on this boat. And now I'll just kind of show you this back area. All right, here's a look of the transom area of, the, of our new boat. So this is what we call a pod. And here's the door, so that just locks here. And it snaps open. Uh, normally, this is the, the bait tank. But we removed that, removed the uh, lid. So now it's just a tray for putting fishing gear or whatever. And we put a little drain so it'll drain into here, which is I guess you could call it a fish clean station. It's got a drain in it. Normally we have a, a rail attached back here so it'll sit level like that, but uh, we're doing something a little different on this boat. And up here, if you can just pan over this way, you can see the step. There's a step there. Just climb in. So here's the step to go up up onto the side deck and it's open underneath so when you're fishing you put your feet under here. Uh, we just mounted the, uh, the downrigger bases here. Uh, the electrics are I believe inside here. Yeah, so you just plug it in there. The cleats are, are inside here as well. They come out the Haas pipe. Just a neat clean installation. As far as drains, we have a drain in the cockpit floor in each corner down here and that corner. The owner wanted two extra drains, so we put 
put one there and, and in the opposite corner uh, just for extra drainage. We did that in one of the first few videos where I showed you the, the mold where we put inserts into the mold for that. So I think that's all. Uh, we'll probably add some photos of the boat in the water, uh, maybe some performance data. Uh, let's just hope that it, it floats. Alright, thanks. I'm here now with uh, the owner of the company, Dan Parker, who's also my father. Uh, Dan, tell us about the project. How was it? Uh, what do you think? Well, this was a big project, no doubt about it here. Um, all kinds of facets to be dealt with uh, when you do uh, stretch a boat like this here. Uh, we're all very pleased with the outcome and so was the owner. Um, we had a marine surveyor uh, in to survey the whole uh, boat after the, the stretch. And this is a local, very long time experience marine surveyor. Uh, quite impressed to the point he says, you know, through the words he said to me and the owner, spectacular. So that's what he said. Um, uh, and he, these surveyors, they know what they're talking about. Uh, that's their business. Um, so uh, we're going to do our sea trial tomorrow morning. And, and so far, the engine and everything, electrical, everything seems to be fine. So uh, it should be uh, good. and. The guy's owner immediately going to go up the coast with it here. Um, so that's that's about it here. That's all I can say. So what do you think? You ready to do another one of these projects? Uh, I don't think so. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good to hear. <laughs>